What is up, y'all? It is your boy Weep Healer in the house, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Clash of Clans with my Town Hall level 7. This is episode 36, and thank you guys for coming along for the ride. Now, base is looking pretty good. Have a few more level 5 walls to go up to a level 6, then we can start using Elixir on those. Have an army camp going up to get 5 more troops in our raids. I have a Tesla going up to a level 2. Got done with splash damage. Our wizard towers are done. And basically, the base is looking pretty decent. Got a few more upgrades to go. Town Hall level 8 is still a little ways away. Uh, but we're having some fun at Town Hall level 7. I've got dragons done in three days, so that should be excellent for the wars. Now, speaking of wars, we are kicking some major butt. We're doing a prep day right now. We've got 17 and a half hours until then. But let's get into our last war, which we won 137 to 63. You guys are awesome. Someday, man, we're going to hit that perfect mark. We're going to get three stars on everything, and that is going to be an absolute fantastic day. 94.9% .9 average destruction per raids. Won 90 out of 95 attacks, and that's what I like to see. So, excellent job guys let's move on to a few war raids gonna start from let's see let's start from the top so number six i believe was x exception the bad boy himself the fifa boy rocking some clash of clans let's pause the base pretty good town hall nine right there he's got level one expos couple level four and level five air defenses uh pretty decent not too maxed out a lot of nice walls going on but not the best base looks like he's going to hog and he does love those hogs let's see what his uh, attack is gonna look like is luring out the clan castle which is a smart move let's speed that up until he kills all those troops and then we can watch the hogs go buck wild because this was indeed a three-star raid so he's moving guys over into here we go here's it here oh where's he going Why's he dragging everybody which way i don't know what heck he's doing here but he's moving guys all around the base there we go they're gonna go down with the archers up top and then let's watch the hogs go in pretty sloppy spread but that's actually not too shabby they're all going right into the center great job with that heel spell keeping them bad boys all alive then they're splitting up into two separate spots and that's actually what you kind of want with the hogs when they stay all in one position it is nice because they chop things down quite quickly but you like them to spread out knock out as many defenses as fast as possible Balloons coming in from the backside, although those do uh, target defenses first, so he probably could have dropped them on the other side, make a little bit more sense until the dragons, uh, sorry, until the uh, hogs kill everything, and then the balloons can just start dropping, and those are level 6 loons, they do have a lot of firepower, and that splash damage right there didn't do too much, so hogs are basically all alive and uh, doing some quick work. Got a Barb King up top, the Archer Queen as well. Giant Bomb right there is going to take out those Barbs, but doesn't really do too much damage to uh, the BK as he has quite a bit of health, and the Hogs are just wrecking havoc. Oh, big bomb. Oh, ho, ho. that hurt a little bit, but they're still all alive, so thank goodness for that. Skeletons on the bottom taking a little bit of damage, uh, but not doing too bad against those Hogs. Hogs mowed them down, and basically it's clean up from here out. The uh, Town Hall of the Dark Elixir Storage going down first. Let's see. Dark Elixir Storage looks like like it's going to get hit up and eaten alive by the hogs. And last but not least, we have the Town Hall with 99% going down. Excellent raid right there. Nice little uh, nice little hybrid, I guess. He did drop a couple loons and dropped a couple uh, wizards and some archers and barbs. So not too bad on the drop overall. When I go hogging, I like to bring most hogs and just a couple cleanup crew. But that worked out excellente. So excellent job, X exception excellent job oh, 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 terrible joke all right let's move down a little bit deeper we're gonna have some kfc base uh he is actually gonna get us awesome kfc for this raid worked out really well quite sloppy base let's pause this bad boy first uh town hall is blocked by three walls on the left hand side and two walls on the right hand side uh quite sloppily built base a lot of stuff spread out a lot of these bases make me kind of wonder i'm like what are you guys doing here and uh barb king's gonna go in and clean up a few uh spots on that left hand side and i believe he's gonna drop the dragons from there i would imagine and uh okay he draws a line on the southeast side yeah southeast side uh northwest side actually the complete opposite end of the spectrum uh so he drops a rage spell to get them into that air defense knock that thing out first and foremost one dragon does go down with the seeking air mine but if we can keep those dragons alive to get into that second air defense and then the air defense next to the town hall shouldn't be an issue basically one heal spell which is dropped right on top of that air defense he does have a few clan castle troops but those really don't matter with the dragons dragons do splash damage and they're so powerful that at this point uh, it really doesn't matter so the Town Hall will go down with that dragon. He's got one little little uh, iota of uh, health right there, but it's not enough and uh, basically can rock that Town Hall and take it down to get the second star once the 50% happens. And then basically it's clean up from here. The Archer Queen and one dragon up on the right-hand corner side are taking care of basically the side building some barracks and some gold uh, gold collectors. And uh, the, the troops are doing pretty good. We've got a lot of dragons right here. Uh, three bad boys just rock 
rocking and rolling. Let's speed it up a little bit since the dragons are a little slow. These spread out bases always make me wonder. I don't know why these guys build this stuff. I guess it's the anti-hog because hogs uh, run into giant bombs when there's a lot of space open like that. So uh, that would be my guess, although a lot of people don't use hogs anymore because they're so nerfed with the skeletons and with the giant bombs. So nice little raid right there. We still got five dragons left. Yeah, there's five dragons and an archer queen. Uh, the BK did go down, but uh, excellent raid right there. KFC, you owe me a twister wrap. That's what I want. Uh, go easy on the ranch because I'm watching my figures. So let's move on to the last raid of the video. Number 31, my boy Chris. Let's check out what his raid is going to be. Looks like he's going dragon as well. Let's pause this base at the one spot. Oh, he's just dropping them all in. All right, so we've got uh, one, two, three air defenses, two level fives, one level four, a couple rage spells, sorry, two heal spells and one rage spell. And uh, clan castle troops are going to draw the dragons onto them right now, but they're going to take a smoking, smoking drop right there. Good rage spell. Get those guys into the center. Knock out that first air defense. I like the lightning, man. I really do a lot of the lightning spells. Knock out one air defense, although I'm only attacking level seven. So, uh, tower Hall 7s only have two air defenses, and once you knock one of those out, you're basically free to go. Uh, I was using, using some heal spells and some rage spells in conjunction with one another, but uh, I think the, the lightning spell is the best way to go, honestly, in my opinion. I know a lot of people disagree with that, and they do two heals and a rage, or two rage and a heal, uh, but I find the lightning seems to work out the best. The air defense is only... Uh, is one of the only things that really takes care of the dragons. Basically, archer towers and wizard towers don't do enough damage on um, on them to really make a, a difference. So he's rocked out the town hall. Basically, going to get the second star with the 50% in right now. There you go. And uh, clean up from here out. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six dragons left. Basically, every oh seven dragons left. Uh, his BK did go down already, but basically it's clean up from here on out. Let's speed it up a little bit, get these dragons to get the move. Oh, no, the BK's on the bottom. Look at him chugging along with very little health, uh, but still doing some work right there. The Archer Tower is now locked on to that one uh, dragon up top. Going to suck up a little bit of damage right there, but not enough to kill him. And then basically it's clean from here on out. A collector of both Elixir and Gold. So excellent raid right there. Another 100% three-star. That's what we do in my boys, weeps, peeps kicking some major ass that's what i like to see 137 to 63 once again and that destruction rate's just absolutely balls deep man we're going crazy killing people in these wars everyone's doing their part everyone's getting two and three stars that's what i like to see and uh cleaning up other people's messes if there are messes but not too many left around nowadays our uh, our clan is just too damn good at the moment so thank you guys for watching drop a like help spread the video out we'll get another one of these out asap do well in wars you get yourself into a video check out our facebook slash weeps peeps uh that will give you any information on what's going on with the clan and uh basically i will be doing a wacky raid pretty soon so leave your uh, percentage in the in the comment section below get a video out on that as soon as we possibly can all right guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time